Welcome back to yet another episode of the Skill Move tutorial series where I show you how, where and when to perform skill moves and basically break down my opinion of how useful it is in FIFA 22. Today we're learning the Sombrero Flick. What a classic this is. Such an overpowered skill move in FIFA 21. But let's find out what it's like in FIFA 22. Griezmann, three men around him but somehow finds some space for another fantastic opening. The drive back. He's made himself the tiniest bit of space. Yeah, it almost feels like a bit of a toy. Didn't really go for him. Oh! The sombrero flick can be performed with the right and left stick. What you need to do is you need to flick forwards twice and then backwards once. Okay, and that is obviously a 12 o'clock and a 6 o'clock angle. So it's 12 o'clock twice, backwards at 6 o'clock once. And the player will do a flick over their head. They'll flick it up with their foot, then kick it over their head, and basically, hopefully, it'll go over the defender's head. Okay, and it's a skill move that you want to do when you're facing opposite direction to where you want to go after performing the sombrero flick. The sombrero flick, in my opinion, is pretty much best used on the wing and best used inside the bots. Reason being, and reason why I wouldn't want to do it in the midfield, is because it's not as good as last year. You can't really do it without losing control a little bit. I remember FIFA 21, it was very, very good because you could keep it in tight with you and flick ups were overpowered. This year, not so much, but you can still use it in certain situations where you pretty much are on the wing, you have the wing back approaching you and you want to flick it over their head. It's quite useful in that aspect. It's also useful inside the bots, as I was saying, where you can pretty much flick it over and uh, continue running on to have a shot. And obviously, when there's a defensive line and you can flick it over that line, you can run in behind and try and score a goal or even volley it first time. But without further ado, I'm going to jump to the net segment of when you should use it. The best time to use the sombrero flick is when there is a defender approaching you behind you. When you are facing the opposite direction and you want to flick it over their head. If they're quite aggressive, this is when you want to use it because they're coming and approaching you. You flick it over their head unexpectedly as it is quite hard to read and uh, will obviously continue running on with the ball or you can have a shot first time like I said in the previous segment inside the bots. You have a defensive line behind you, you want to flick it over that line, well then you can can use a sombrero flick to do that okay but lads that's going to signal the end of the episode my rating of the sombrero flick for me i'm going to give it a three out of five it's not as useful as previous years but it is still useful in certain situations as i was saying in the bots and also out on the wing and as always lads i hope you guys have a good day i'm out sayonara adios au revoir and goodbye